Hello friends, how are you today? So if you're here, you're probably looking up information on this kit, the Lakato CPD-1000 uh, tabletop drum set. So I bought one of these. Uh, my main reason for picking one up was I've kind of become a little um, sort of borderline obsessive, um, more and more curious about the portable tabletop drum sets um, and, and just getting, you know, being able to get a drum set sound out of a portable system. Um, so I, as some of you know, I have a Yamaha DD75, another tabletop drum set. And so I, I wanted to purchase this because this is at, a, was at a pretty low affordable price, as some of you know. Um, I think it's at between $179 and $199 on Amazon. It's a very good price. And uh, I was able to pick it up. And so I want to give you a little bit of a lowdown, give you some playing examples, and some interesting things I found out about it. Um, for some people that have already done the research, um, you should know that this has been, this kit is definitely out there in other brand names. Um, I think Tone Circle had a, had the same kit. Um, I know that Artist Guitars has a kit, and they're all called the CPD-1000. So it's the same drum set. Um, I haven't owned the other versions, um, but there's, it's the same idea. It's got the, you know, the flat, you know, metal piece, you know, with the three rubber pads and the mesh pad as the snare, and then the little cymbal, um, cymbal holders and like the pads. And they give you two sturdy, uh, kick, tri kick triggers, one for hi-hat and one for bass drum. Uh, what's cool about the Lakato, I'm not sure about the other kits, but what's cool about this Lakato is that they actually give you a kick pad um, trigger input. So you can take any pad you want or and you can use that so that you can have an actual kick pad, uh, which is better, I think, than using the uh, switch, you know, for me personally. So I haven't even used that. I just used my KT-1 uh, cat uh, kick pad so far. So um, with this drum set, um, overall, I'm over, I'm overall, I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, some of the things are kind of weird. Uh, I will say that, you know, if you're going to look at buying this, um, if you're looking at the manuals and looking at stuff online, there is a manual for the Artist CPD-1000. There's no manual for the Lakato that I could find, um, but there's a manual for the Artist CPD-1000. And it says that there are 240 sounds on this. And... Likewise, it says the same thing on the Lakato instruction manual that there are 240 sounds. Now, from what I can see so far, um, in the Lakato module, there are only 222 sounds. So it says there are 240, there's 18 less as far as I can see. Now, I haven't gone through all the pads. Maybe there are only sounds that are available on some of the pads and not all of them, but I don't think there are a full, full 240 sounds. Not the biggest deal in the world. There's still a lot of percussion sounds. There's still a lot of uh, drum set sounds, acoustic drum set sounds, um, ways to set up your kit so you can have, you know, play gigs outside or play gigs, not just outside, but play, you know, play gigs on the road and have a portable electronic drum set that works uh, fairly well. Um, the pads are responsive, you know, for the most part, really, really well. There's some things that aren't, you know, aren't perfect. Some of the, some of the ghost notes don't always pick up, you know, as, as good as they would on a, on a higher tier quality drum set. Um, but for the price and for get what you're getting for your money, I think it's better in my opinion than the Yamaha DD75 because with those rubber pads, it's really hard to get a drum roll play a play a buzz roll which is this is much easier to do this obviously on the mesh pad which is one of my main reasons for doing it um and and overall the sounds are much better in terms of not not there being a whole lot of reverb on them whereas there's always reverb on all the sounds on the yamaha and it was constantly a situation where i would have to turn them off so um there's advantages to it you know i think that there were some things that I, the yamaha probably does a little bit better but i think for me I like the feel of the mesh pad better. I like the feel of like I can really play a drum roll much better. And I love that they give you the option of having a kick pad because then I can, you know, it's pretty much the same idea and it's actually a little, even a little bit smaller than the Yamaha, which is great. Um, that's pretty much my lowdown with it. Uh, overall, it feels really, really good. Some of the things that it does really well, honestly, the, the, the way that, you know, it responds to the pedals, the, the um, even though it has a kick trigger, for the hi-hat it responds really really nicely as a you know open and closed um the, the way that the some you can do a nice cymbal roll and it's it feels really good so all the you know all the pads respond pretty well so i'm going to do some playing examples 
And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to play probably some of the studio, uh, the factory kits, and then I'm going to do a couple of the custom kits that I've created with this. So thanks for watching and enjoy.